Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G, and I have a Zygu X6100 in my hands. So that must mean that there's a new firmware update. On November 24th, Thanksgiving Day, Zygu released a new firmware for this radio. They didn't change the version number. It's still 1.16, and there's only two things that they updated. Let's go get the software installed and take a look. Let's take a look at what it does, but first I want to take a look at the old version of the firmware to see where we're at. This is version 1.1.6, November 2nd, 2022, and the base is 1.1.6, November 1st, 2022. Excellent. I have in my hot little hands the SD card. Let's put this in the SD card slot. Okay, I've readjusted the camera angle so we can get a better view of the screen. Let me power it on and we'll do the firmware update directly. The screen contrast keeps changing every time the screen goes from backlight to front light. We're uploading the data off of the SD card onto the internal eMMC. And when it's done, it's going to copy some files and it's going to tell you it's powering off. When it powers off, you want to pull the SD card out. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in a endless firmware update loop. Turn it back on. That seemed to take just a little bit longer to boot up and we have a power on in it, please wait. Sometimes you see this screen with 1.1.6, sometimes you don't. I don't know what's going on with that. And we appear to be good to go now. So it remembered my full TX setting that I have on there, and now we have a voltage display for the battery, and we need to do the second half of the upgrade. Firmware upgrade, pick the only choice that we have, and then click the upgrade button. And it is done, so we hit quit. Here, a bunch of relays clicking in the background like it's doing something. And let's see where we are on versions. System info. <laughs> version 1.16 still. They did not change the version number. So November 10th, 2022, November 11th, 2022, those are different dates. But other than that, they didn't change the, the firmware version number. And there are only two fixes that they added to this version, which might be why they didn't change it. But really, they should. They should have changed it because now I can't tell you which version of 1.1.6 I'm on. Update number 17, fix the bug. The main UI will crash sometimes after exit the Bluetooth setting menu. I'll take the word on that one. Fix the bug, charger sometimes won't work. So right now, let's see if I have charger turned on, I do. Let's turn charger off. And when you pick that option, it automatically sticks it up there and then I can turn it to off, 13.6. I unplug it and it goes to 13.7. Now it's down to 8.2. 7.9. Plug it back in. 13.7. I have charger still off. Let's turn charger back on. Charger's on and now I have a lightning bolt indicating that I'm charging. So those are two bug fixes for intermittent problems. There really ain't no way to, to do it. Okay, folks, so there you have it. Not a whole lot that I can show you because it's all intermittent stuff. And I would recommend that if you don't suffer from the problems that are indicated, don't bother wasting your time doing the firmware update. Unless there's something hidden that we haven't found yet, join us over on Toad's Discord. There is a link in the description down below for that. We talk about this radio all day long because there's so much awesome stuff that this thing does. It's a lot of fun. And it's also kind of a weird, quirky little product. There is a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.